Tell you what, we could have had a good life together. Fucking real good life. Had us a place of our own. But you didn't want it, Ennis. So what we got now is Brokeback Mountain. Everything's built on that. That's all we got, boy. Fucking all. So I hope you know that if you don't never know the rest. The landscape in Ang Lee's 2005 film Brokeback Mountain amplifies themes of desire and repression, and in doing so, upends the traditional role of landscape in a Western film. The two main characters, Jack Twist and Ennis Del Mar, struggle throughout the film to find the words to describe how they feel for one another, and even when they do find them, feel too inhibited by societal expectations to fully and freely express them. The landscape helps tell the story of Brokeback Mountain in instances when dialogue cannot. You may be asking what could possibly be unique about the landscape of a Western film that's set in the American West. For starters, Brokeback Mountain is set in the Rocky Mountain West, not the Southwest, or more specifically, Monument Valley, unlike so many films that are considered to be part of the classic canon of Westerns. From John Ford's Stagecoach, The Searchers, and How the West Was Won, to Sergio Leone's Once Upon a Time in the West, or more recently the Coen Brothers' Ballad of Buster Scruggs, all of which were shot in Monument Valley, Western filmmakers have long taken advantage of the region's epic landscape. Film critic Keith Phipps noted Monument Valley's five square miles have defined what decades of moviegoers think of when they imagine the American West. I'm only speculating here, but perhaps one reason Brokeback Mountain is not shot in the southwestern United States has something to do with the idea of privacy. Whereas the southwestern landscape like Monument Valley is desolate and rugged, the Bighorn Mountains, where Brokeback Mountain is rumored to be located, are sweeping and romantic. Whereas a valley exposes what's going on within it, mountains conceal. The mountains are also a stark contrast to the two protagonists' respective hometowns. Jack lives in Texas, surrounded by prairie and desert. Ennis is from what the ever-trustworthy Wikipedia calls a ghost town. Both come from places that are bleak in a physical and emotional sense. Brokeback Mountain offers an escape from that emptiness. Although Brokeback Mountain definitely evokes romanticism, it also possesses many qualities typically associated with the masculine. The mountain itself is tough as opposed to soft, jagged as opposed to smooth, and harsh as opposed to gentle. Jack and Ennis's task also codes as traditionally masculine. They tend to livestock, drink whiskey, and ride horses. Yet the nature of their connection is inherently not traditionally masculine in its intimacy and vulnerability. And Jack and Ennis, though especially Ennis, grapple with that tension throughout the course of the film. Society, like Ennis, struggles with reconciling seemingly contradictory traits. Ennis is so bound up in his sense of masculinity that he seems to believe the only way he could ever be with Jack is to forfeit that masculinity. The landscape in Brokeback Mountain mirrors that tension between the conventionally masculine and the conventionally feminine, and in doing so amplifies Ennis's inner conflict. I don't think it's a stretch to imagine that the namesake mountain, Brokeback, was named that because its shape resembles someone who was bent over in excruciating pain as a result of a broken back. This imagery appears in the film, though not due to a broken back, but rather the insufferable emotional pain that the protagonists endure because they're forced to repress their feelings for one another. Again, this posturing often embodies both traditionally masculine and traditionally feminine traits. Feminine in that it connotes distress and vulnerability, and masculine because it also demonstrates anger and physical expressions of rage. One of the most tragic moments in the film is when Jack's family denies Ennis the opportunity to fulfill Jack's wishes to have his ashes spread at Brokeback Mountain, but it's noteworthy that Ennis keeps Jack's jacket by a photograph of Brokeback anyway. No one but Ennis is capable of honoring and remembering Jack as his true and complete self. Ennis cannot dissociate Jack with a landscape, which could be interpreted as the filmmaker's nod to the spiritual significance of landscape, and how landscape is intertwined with how we memorialize someone after they're gone. 
The film Brokeback Mountain also helps us as viewers question the role of film in memorializing the American West. It encourages us to broaden our understanding of what going out west in pursuit of freedom really means, not only an individual's freedom to ride a horse on the open plains or cultivate land or frequent saloons. Landscape, in this case the landscape of the American West, is what allows Jack and Ennis to explore their freedom, even if fleeting and ultimately fraught, to love one another. Ang Lee describes Broke Rock Mountain as something elusive, romantic. It keeps you wanting to go back. For Jack and Ennis, that something is the mountain, Brokeback Mountain, representative of their love for one another. For viewers, it's films like Brokeback Mountain, painful to watch, but ultimately it's only by laboring with that pain that we can fully appreciate their beauty, even if poignant. We keep wanting to go back, knowing it will only break us. Sure wish I knew how to quit this movie.